Hello YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Uh, it's kind of good, good to be back. Um, I just want to finish up this series here on the uh, the GT40s. Um, this was kind of the one that inspired me to build all of them. Uh, like I explained, I think in the first one, the blue one, that, uh, you know, I had those two Ravel ones for a while. And, uh, because those came out in the 90s. And then, uh, or late 80s. I, I, I forget the date. Anyway, uh, and these came out, uh, probably 10 years later that, you know, Ravel, or not Ravel, but Fujimi issued a couple more, including the red one I showed you last time. And they, uh, they did this one. I, I don't know why I favor this one. Maybe it's the yellow with the black stripes. Um, the gold wheels. I, you know, I really don't know. Um, I also love one of the differences on this one. I don't think I've been pointing them out as, as we go. Is this one has fender flares in the back. You had to glue them on. Um, but uh, it has flares in the back. And it's got a, a, a bubble in the engine cover, which is, which is different than than the others they all have my of course the street one's a street one and it's it's different uh kind of a slightly different body but uh as far as the racing ones they all have their own little unique uh features but anyways you can see this is yellow i don't remember which yellow it is i would say maybe uh, uh chrome yellow by tamia but um, i think it's a little too dark to be the yellow yellow but uh, I, I'm not sure. It could be Tester's yellow. I'm, I'm not. I, I, I don't have a. Really don't have a clue. Uh, as you can see, it's the number one car, and uh, it's the same Fujimi kit as, as all the others. Got the photo etch in the back. Uh, this one still has both hood pins in the front. Just noticing that because I remember on the blue one I was missing them, or at least one of them. Uh, same curbside curbside chassis as all the others. Uh, no different <clears throat> and uh, I believe the engine covers may be the same you know and I'd, I'd have to go look at them um, not a hundred percent sure but uh, anyway guys I want to say thank you uh, for all the birthday wishes from my mom I did pass them on to her uh, she had a good visit uh, had a bunch of people over on Sunday for her actual birthday if, if you haven't been watching it was her 95th birthday um, I did get some stuff done the Saturday before she came. Got some painting done, so I'll, I'll try to do a bench update maybe uh, tomorrow or the next day. And uh, that's probably about it, guys. Just wanted to uh, share the final one. Oh, well, somebody did request uh, that I show all four together. So I'm going to try to figure out a way to uh, to do that. Maybe on my bench. I don't know. Maybe go set them up out in the driveway. I haven't haven't uh, decided what I'm going to do on that, but I, I will try to show them, and I may try to show them in a short. I have yet to figure out how to do those shorts. I know a lot of y'all have done them, uh, but uh, I, I have yet to uh, try to figure that out. So uh, anyway, so be watching for that as well. All right, guys, that's about it. Don't want to hold you up for too long. Tomorrow's Friday. Everybody have a great weekend. Hope you uh, enjoyed all the GTs, and hope you like this one, and I guess that's about it. All right, everybody, God bless. Mike out. Um, bye-bye.